Hi, my name's Jack Lawson and this is an instructional video on how to bowl leg spin. Uh, leg spin is a great way to have success and you know, take a lot of wickets. And, uh, my, one of my favorite things about bowling leg spin is uh, deceiving the batsman, you know, having lots of fun with my mates on the cricket field. Before you start bowling, it is always a good idea to start warming up to reduce the chances of an injury. It also means that you are ready to go from ball one. Doing both lower and upper body exercises and stretches should get you prepared. So the first thing to learn when bowling leg spin is the grip. Uh, my grip is generally two fingers on top and two fingers on the bottom with a generally loose grip so that I can rip the ball. Um, the ball slots in like that and your fingers run along the seam. So for the leg break, your wrist position when you're bowling the ball is um, pointing towards you, the bowler. So it kind of comes out like that. So uh, the next thing after you've worked out your grip and your wrist position is the run-up. The run-up is important because uh, it helps you gain momentum and energy to the creeks and it allows you to repeat the same ball over and over again. Um, to measure out your run-up, you first put your heel on the popping crease and then you measure out the steps that it takes to where your mark is. Uh, mine is quite long, 11 steps, um, but it works for me. So I mark the start of my run-up and I'm ready to bowl. In the run-up it's key to be smooth and steady so that you're relaxed when you're coming in. And the objective here is to gain momentum and have a sense of rhythm when you're bowling. By the time you've reached your delivery stride, you want to make sure that your head is looking over your shoulder and your side on so that you can generate rotation and power and put a few extra reps on the ball. Um, in your delivery stride, you want to make sure that your back foot is parallel to the crease and that your front foot is pointing towards fine leg or leg slip and in the direction of the batsman. The front arm is Again, vital for leg spin um, because again it generates that power and that momentum and that rotation and it gets your hip and your shoulders and brings them around and it's right through okay. So um, key things to remember when bowling is to make sure that you're following right through straight down the line of the pitch. Imagine, imagine you're painting a line straight down the center of the pitch and also following through past this hip and getting some real good rotation. The bowling arm when bowling leg spin is you need to make sure that it's somewhere between 10.30 and 12 o'clock so that you can generate some real side spin and also drift and making sure that it's not going past the perpendicular because otherwise you start falling over. So when you're bowling, I generally have it somewhere about there and that uh, allows me to bowl the same delivery over and over again with good side spin, good drift and good good uh, shape. The last thing to remember in your bowling action is your follow through. Once you've generated all that energy and momentum and rotation through the crease, you don't want to lose that thread after you've bowled the ball. So making sure that as you're coming through the crease and you've bowled the ball, you're following through and chasing towards that target. Don't let any of that energy dis uh, disperse. Now we're going to talk about the different kinds of deliveries that you can bowl um, in leg spin. We've already talked about the stock leg break or the leg spinner. Um, here again the grip is two fingers on top and two fingers on the bottom. Um, and when you're bowling it, the palm is facing towards yourself and you're spinning the ball at 45 degrees to 30 degrees uh, towards the batsman. The 
variation from the leg spinner is the top spinner. It's got the same grip as the leg spinner, except there's now a change in the wrist position. So instead of having the palm facing towards yourself like the leg spinner, you then twist it around so that the back of the palm is facing towards the batsman. What this does is it gets the ball to come out the back of the hand, bounce slightly more and go straight on. an extension of the top spinner. So now instead of having your palm facing towards the batsman, you have it facing towards finally your leg slip. What this does is it gets it to spin almost the opposite direction as your leg spinner. Slider. Um, this one has the same grip except it comes out in front of the hand, has slightly less spin and it goes straight on again. Fourth and final variation is flipper. So this is the only one really where the grip changes. Um, now your thumb comes into play and rests on the bottom of the ball so that you can flick it between the fingers. Um, it kind of comes out at the bottom of the hand or flick between the fingers and there's a lot of uh, underspin and the ball travels faster through the air and off the wicket and hopefully you can trap the batsman as well. Now that we have the basics down pat, let's take a look at some of the tactics involved in leg spinning. To introduce the topic, here's a few words from Jason Croatia, former Australian test spinner. So it's always nice to be able to work them out and um, there's quite a lot of tactics involved and a lot of slight, subtle variations that you, you do, not like a quick bowler where there's, there's normally quite um, visible differences, say so bouncer to a Yorker, they're quite different. We use slight changes of length and slight changes of speed um, and work the batsman out. And it's very, very tactical. You think about where your fielders are, sometimes you move them just because you move them. And it's a bit of a game of chess, but that's something that I guess that attracted me to it after a while of trying it. I could see that it wasn't just coming up and buying an off spin, it was actually trying to set your field to whatever the ball you wanted to bowl. So I really enjoyed this, the, the tactic side and, and, and watching the videos of certain players and how they played spin and then building up. And my army around my armory around that to be able to get them out in the game. So for me that was probably one of the most exciting parts of running spin. That's some great insight there from Jason. The most simple of tactics when bowling leg spin is putting the ball where the batsman doesn't want it. It's all about deception. When and where the ball will arrive and what it will do after. By varying speed, flight and spin, you can deceive the batsman and take plenty of wickets. So there you have it. The warm-up the grip, the run up, the delivery stride, the follow through, the variations that you can bowl, and the tactics. The most important thing is to keep at it. Practice, practice, and when you feel as though you've practiced enough, practice some more. I hope you've taken a few things away from this video and have lots of fun. <laughs>